Hello everybody again and welcome to another episode of Stock Talk. I am your host Mike and Kage and Kameo are off tonight so I'm riding solo. We're gonna whip through some of these stocks. Uh, we got some decent stocks to talk about tonight. One of your first uh, uh, trending stocks currently uh, is DARE, D-A-R-E, D-A-R-E. Last tick was $1.91. Uh, this one is a, a biosciences stock. We've discussed it before, but again, for new people, I want to introduce you to this uh, stock again, just like NSAV yesterday. Uh, this stock is going, uh, just a brief description of it. It's a, a healthcare company which engages in development and commercialization of pharmaceutical products in women's reproductive health. Its products include uh, topical and uh, Ovaprene, uh, topical uh, cidophil, cid cidophil. Sorry, the company was founded by Sabrina Johnson and Lisa Waters. Uh, this stock is currently being promoted. It is on uh, a pump list, so you want to uh, watch it as it goes and find your endpoint of where you're going to buy. Uh, just because it is going to be very volatile with till about Friday and possibly into next week. And then you could get your shorters that'll come in and uh, drop this stock. But we're going to go right into it and check it out and uh, go onto the website and see uh, what they got cooking on there for some of you that haven't seen this uh, stock before. Uh, and we'll check it out there. But yes, just to give you a reminder, this stock is being currently promoted right now. It is being promoted. Okay guys, going on the website, it looks excellent. It looks definitely like above sub penny website. It looks very, very good. I'm gonna give you a little uh, showdown of the artwork. It says, we're driven a mission to accelerate a diverse portfolio of Novell therapies for women that expand treatments and options to improve outcomes and facilitate convenience. Uh, another, another couple graphics here. With uh, clinical trials underway, our initial focus are areas in contraception, fertility, sexual, and vaginal health. Uh, they have the about us. Let's go over there. You got the girl with the skateboard there. She looks like she's having a good time and she's pretty sick with it there. Women's health innovations are often not the priority, but for D.A.R.E. that's not okay. Or for D.A.R.E. that's not okay. We are working hard to identify the advance, the new therapies that provide additional choices. Enhancing outcomes and ease of use of women by developing and bringing these products to difference to make a difference in women's lives worldwide. Uh, to become a coordinating presence in women's health, uh, they want to achieve by identifying, unlocking, advancing innovation and improving the health and outcomes that promote a better quality of life for women. Don't we all want a better quality of life for women? So for this type of uh, stock, uh, you know, to help improve uh, women's health, you'd be supporting that, and uh, it's something good to get on. The other th also thing, like we've talked about with biosciences, is they are the most, uh, as far as uh, influential and mo have the most potential to become your big heavy hitters uh, in the future. This stock, I would say, uh, as saying before, uh, it won't. When I talk about biopharmaceuticals, they're not going to stay. Uh, when they're when they're doing the things that they're doing, they're not going to stay this uh, cheap currently, uh, according to my opinion. Uh, dare is, in Italian it means to give. In English it means to be bold. Uh, to to us, dare means to give women and novel treatments options by boldly ad boldly addressing existing therapeutic gaps. In addition, and that's exactly their mission, uh, their approach. They're accelerating women's innovations health. At DARE, they believe women's health is important, a therapeutical area that deserves dramatic increases in attention and investment and information. So uh, there you have a little rundown uh, and description of about them. Now let's get into what they are currently working on and doing. Hey guys, this is huge when it comes to biosciences as far as project pipelines. You always want to check the project pipelines because when they hit their certain phases, that's when the news takes off and that's when the alphabets go running and they start the promotions and things like that. Uh, so it looks like uh, one of the, the uh, projects they have is the DARE BV1. It's the bacterial vaginosis. They're in the phase three study of that. You could go through on the website and read that, read that study. We don't have all the time to read uh, that study. 
You also have the Ovaprene. It's a hormone-free monthly contraception partner bear. Pivotal top, uh, top line data. You can go on and read that study. You also have the uh, Slidinafil cream, 3.6% female sexual arousal disorder. Uh, they're in phase 2B top line data. You can go check out that study. And then another one in the pipes, uh, phase 1 top line 2021, it's the DARE HRT1 hormone therapy. You can go and check that out. They have the DARE VVA1, which is uh, vul vulvar and the vaginal atrophy uh, for HR breast, breast cancer population, phase one preparation. So they have that going on. They have a pregnancy maintenance study, PTB and ART, phase one preparations. Uh, and they have several other studies that they have going on. Uh, they have some also preclinical ones. Once they get out of those gates of those other phases and they get to the higher phases, they do go up. $1.91, $2 becomes $20. Don't believe me? Go back and look at some of the stocks that I've talked about uh, weeks past that they were $20 and $50 stocks. They were once in this range. So uh, that's pretty much all I have about the studies on that. What we're going to do next is we're going to go to uh, Stockwitz and Investors Hub and we're going to check out what the actual real traders are saying about this and you can get their comments for what they're saying live with their, with their stock trading name. Okay, so here is the unfiltered uh, as far as comments on Stockwitz. You have from NEB21, DARE was $102 in 2015. It was $33 in 2017. Since then it's been pretty quiet. Time to buy on the rise again. Yes, if you can get in on the cheap seats, when they hit any of these these high phases, like I said, it will go up. Biosciences are a way to make coin. Seriously. Okay, we have John 1, 2, 23, 56. Dare shorts are going to be burned to death tomorrow because when this hits $3. So there you go on that. Uh, Dare one quarter of the volume ran $5. When the shorts give up, I'm not joking. $15 isn't far. He might not be joking at $15 just because, like I said, Hitting the phases brings these things up. And then you'll be like, I, you got a lot of money flowing all around this world. You'll be cashing out. Uh, looks like Dare. Look for all Reddit community coming tomorrow. So that could be popping on there. We'll, we'll keep our eyes out from that. Anybody sees anything on Reddit? Put it in the comments section. Maybe the Army of Apes will show up on this one. Dare Redditors got this from today. Looks like this will happen next. Some GME and GMC of all other stocks you knew about. Dare, did you see our volume today? There you go, and then he's got the speaks on. Uh, looks like we have Dare YouTube. You have a YouTube video just like ours. Let's check that out. Did you see our volume today? Everyone hates comparisons, but I'm gonna, ha I hate to say it, but this is setting up to be like M-R-I-N. So there's his take on that one. Uh, Dare, let's go. Uh, Dare, Dare News is on fire. Yes, Dare News is on fire. And like I said, it's being promoted. So you got to find your buy point. I can't tell you what your buy point is. That's up to you to decide. Uh, Dare, I've been in touch in excellence for 243% profits in a week. Uh, this one is going far. Check out Dare for sure. Okay, so we got that comment. Next, we're going to go to Investors Hub, and we're going to check out Investors Hub to see what they are saying on there, the, the other crowd. Okay, guys, so that's the end of that stock right there with Dare. Uh, have any questions, leave in the, the comment sections there. We're going to move on to uh, the next stock here uh, moving forward, and that's, that's the end of that one. So we'll move forward to the next one. Okay guys, the next stock we have is DBGI, DBGI. Currently trading at $6.24. After hours, it is 97 cents. Hot up. Uh, the candlesticks on this, they look pretty uh, sick-witted on there. Uh, looks like about with uh, digital brands that engages in the design and manufacture of premium denim products. It offers cigarette jeans and slim and straight fitted jeans for men. The firm's products for women include skinny and high-waisted jeans. Uh, the cigarette jeans are ripped jeans, leggings, and shorts. It sells all the products online. 
Uh, we don't need to go into the founders there because uh, we're going to go straight to uh, the website there. The website, well, it looks like a $5 company. It's not in the cheap seats. It's not out of mommy's basement. It's not in a parking lot of an abandoned parking lot or building. Uh, it, it's a decent looking website there. So you could see that. They got the slow-mos there going down. They got the dude, the models and stuff walking. Uh, you got the city, the city cars moving there. Uh, looks like they're a curated group of lifestyle uh, digital first brands that are redefining retail and customer experience. The group's purpose is to develop each of its brands through shaping resources that support and market their products while maintaining and creating unique customer values and identities. Locations, Los Angeles, California, going back to Cali. So, uh, the V-commerce ecosystem became profile and opportunity for investors and entrepreneurs and consumers alike. Andy Dunn and CEO founder of Von Abos. So there you have that. Their brands, DSTLD, A Studios, Bailey 44. Uh, looks like the, the last news they had out there uh, on the website that they actually posted. So don't troll me on this one. This was actually news that they posted on their website as a D. BG completes its first acquisition, like many, of a women's contemporary brand. Uh, going on to other parts of it, uh, let's check out what they got. Uh, let's see here. Going on to who we are. Now, boys, settle down because they got some hot models on there, so uh, uh, you never know uh, as far as uh, you guys might want to get some of these uh, good uh, clothes for your uh, girlfriends out there. Uh, digital Brands Group is a curated collection of uh, luxury lifestyle digital brands. They bring together direct consumer names under the portfolio to share operational infrastructure. They have a goal of trying to establish an, an, expensive, an expensive way to maintain by eliminating demand of administrative responsibilities for their brands. Committed to the customer experience, their mission with e-commerce is direct to consumer retail models are gaining an ever greater lead with revenue growth and market share. Nearly 80% of Americans shop online today. Yes, they are shopping online all the time. The stores, people just don't want to go to them because it's a pain in the neck. They're too busy. Uh, they, so many consumers have become accustomed to the convenience and personalization and transparency of online shopping and innovative growth. They've mastered the art of exceptional customer experience. They plan, uh, they believe in the market's future and plan to play an active role in it. And I'm sure they're going to. Groups pillars, they have the shared resources, the models break through the revenue, share barriers by keeping direct brands small, operational, marketing technology, and developing costs. By sharing expensive, and hard to build infrastructure cuts and redundant expenses by generating skill and efficiency critical to the brand's development. They have a commitment to craftsmanship, creativity and excellence, and uh, for vertical commerce. And you can read more about that. Country, uh, company information can be found uh, on the website. You could look at all that and you can email them if you have any investor questions. Going on to their brands page, meet the portfolio let's meet the portfolio there's the two models on the portfolio premium denim luxury essentials dsltd launched 2014 under the premise that ethically produced well-crafted clothing shouldn't cost so much and the fast fashion is excessively unsustainable industry creates the constant the constitute of los angeles filmmakers and writer yes as far as they're in the area They've got to supply uh, the decent clothing. So yes, that, that does help out as far as for this stock. I, I, the, the, the clothing line that they have looks freaking sick with it. I think all the, the clothes for the men and women, they just look, they, they look like Deese McGee's, perfect for like movies and films. And the models on here are giving great presentation. So DSLTD is set out to build a contemporary base brand for modern uniform that they saw around them. Jeans, t-shirt, and other luxury level basics that no one else can live without. And some people can't live without their clothes, honestly. It's just part of uh, their part of their nature. They have to have the way they dress because that's just who they are. So, and that's, that's cool. 
Uh, Ace Studios, uh, they also are with for luxury suiting sportswear uh, for menswear that believes performance, fit, and quality as to fair value. They work for centuries for the old Italian mills and European factories to produce premium menswear that's grounded for tradition. So you can check out their suit jackets and slacks. The, this, this guy that's modeling, I like the suit that he's in and he looks pretty sick with it. I like his hairstyle and what they did and how they presented it. Uh, he's got two of his suits on there. Those look like decent suits and he's doing a good model, model shoot on that one. You also have your contemporary women's wear. You got the two models right here. They look, they, the, the women's wear looks decent for, uh, it's with uh, Bailey 44. Combines beautiful uh, fabrics and on-trend uh, design to create sophisticated, uh, ready-to-wear capsules for women on the go. Designed in Los Angeles, inspired by the city's urban architecture, icon landscapes, and modern details for classic elements of feminine designs. And yes, in the area where they're at, this this totally uh, helps them uh, bring out as far as more biz for where they are and it just helps them grow their company even more. So $5 a share right now, you could turn it, depending on where who more clients they pick up, things like that, you could see this thing. I mean, there's a reason why they got to this price point. So they did, they're not in the price point anywhere where they're uh, in the cheap seats anymore. I mean, this still, to me, is considered cheap, but it's not gonna be this cheap for long. So, and cheap not being a bad thing, it's cheap you're getting a bargain basement for grabbing this stock when they have this decent client of clothes. When, when uh, word catches out and people see more of the brand from either videos like this or some videos from commercials and things like that and movies they're in, they're gonna be like, dude, I gotta get me some of these freaking duds here, man, because this is, uh, the, these suits and these dresses, man, and, and things that I've seen in these movies and other things for Hollywood and stuff, it's sick with it. So enough of what I'm saying, let's go to actually what the real traders are saying We'll go to Investors Hub because I like the way they shoot sometime and we'll go to Stockwitz because I like the way they dance. And we'll see what the actual real traders are saying about this stock to see where we need to be at. Okay, so going on to uh, Stockwitz, we have Thanks Sukuya. He says that uh, he's seeing uh, from the show last night, uh, we got BLIN pullback, uh, he's got DBGI, uh, Ipo mania, lots of chatter. So there is a lot of chatter about this stock. It is it is trending, which is good. But we just have to watch our boy buy points on there to see where we need to be at. Because if we get in too much, where it's uh, the the pumpers are pumping this up, and then you get in too quick, you're gonna lose it. And then some of you may might out there panic, which is a bad thing. Uh, if you've already taken a huge huge freaking loss. You might now then you're stuck for waiting for it to come back because these do come back. So uh, you have to go back to your history and of the stock and actually check out when they come back. So uh, let's see what else we got here on the buzz. DBGI getting the best chat room 45%. Congrats to all that played. He's got he's got chat trade momentum. If you can follow that link if you want to, it is what it is. Uh, check out Lois Patterson. Sometimes these are scams. You play how you play. Um, I'm saying that probably better off going to the Reddit people, probably. Uh, DG, DBGI in touch of excellence, 24, 243% profits in a week. If you really want to make huge gains here, then trade on this one. Uh, you got DGBI pre-market pump to $10. So you have some here that are saying that it's going to $10. Well, we'll see. Everyone picked up some nice gains followed by the big plays in the stocks. GGBI, chat for big best strategy. Okay, so you got some promoters on here that are trying to give you their best strategy and we don't know where they're gonna take you on that. So let's go dive into Investors Hub. Let's see where they're at and what they're saying and see if they're gonna shoot us straight on anything that they've seen in the past. We'll, we'll go through past, present, future. Uh, we'll bust that out and see what we get. Guys, going on to Investors Hub, this uh, this one is uh, kind of stale, I would say. Uh, you got WOW, After Hours, Boom. You got the new article, Digital Brands Group to Report First. 
This information is a little stale because it's coming from 628, just to give you a little bit of that. Uh, I don't see anything negative on it. There is an article about uh, emerging growth uh, that you can go and read. It looks like uh, bugstocks.com posted it. Uh, I'm gonna give you guys another take from the Alphabet channels. I'll go to the Alphabet channels and just do a quick search and see if I could pick anything up of anything breaking on that. And then we'll call this one good. So I think we covered it enough. This stock is exciting, I think. I think that uh, it has the potential to rise. Um, it just depends on, obviously, like all these depend on, is on their news and deals they pick up. But let's check the alphabets before we peace out on this one. Okay guys, so going on to digital brands, I found an article on in the alphabet media. Not really alphabet media, but sort of alphabet media. It's on uh, Informi. Uh, they've got Digital Brands Group announces the channel expansion into Amazon Marketplace. Guys, that is freaking huge. If they get into there and then words gets out with the Amazon reviews, it's going gonna, it's gonna to blow up if people think it's a decent product. As far as their website pre presentation, looks like it's a decent product to me. Uh, looking at the, so they are just saying, looking at the reviews so you don't have to. Uh, is the motto of this uh, promotion right here. They're saying uh, the curated collection of the lifestyle luxury digital brands announced today they're expanding their already expansive e-commerce ecosystem by launching a select group of brands at Amazon this fall. That was in June 24, 2021. This breaks out this fall, the fashion trends get out. Guys, you will not be able to get in this cheap anymore. If this, if this ends up, I mean, it's a risk, but if this gets any popular come down in the fall, then you obviously are going to make some coinage here, okay? So this catches on like that, so I, I would tend to have to agree with the article. And it says, as the pandemic shifted to more shopping online, Amazon overtook Walmart as the top apparel seller, according to Wells Fargo report in March. So Wells Fargo estimates that Amazon apparel and footwear sales in the U.S. grew roughly 15% in 2020, more than $41 billion, which is 20% to 25% the rival of Walmart. So uh, according to a 2020 report from uh, Ventura Beat, the most popular shopping categories among Amazon Prime shoppers in the U.S. is electronics, apparel, and home and kitchen goods. So... With that strategy, it looks like uh, D DBG's uh, marketing person, Laura Dowling, chief marketing, said Amazon adds additional customers acquisition. And I can tell you from some of the online businesses that I have is that Amazon and Walmart Marketplace, once a product catches on, it's like wildfire. And if it gets popular, obviously sales will bring coin and that's what you want to look for. You want to look for a company that's gonna move the product and is going to make you the money. Uh, I've covered several, you can go back and look at my videos. I like companies that produce something because it gives me something. Um, I've started more to cover some of your above two, three dollar, four dollar share stocks because some of the ones I'm seeing in the cheap seats, uh, I just don't like them that much, and uh, I'd rather cover stuff. I'd rather give you better ones where we have more uh, as far as information. But the the small ones are still the ones the small stocks that I've told you about in the past. They are moving, and they are always on the promotion list. So you can swing them. Uh, you just have to be careful because you can lose your anus on them. I will just say that if you are not careful and you are a rookie you will lose coin. So just be very careful. So I'll probably cover one tonight that's a pump and dumper. I'll look to see which one I have the most information on and then we're gonna call it a wrap for tonight after I do uh, a, a pink sheet stock. Hey okay guys, so the next stock we're gonna talk about, this one's in the cheap seats. This one's a long play. It's currently being promoted. So proceed with caution. Again, this stock I'm going to tell you about, proceed with caution. No one paid me to, to play this one, uh, to talk about it. It is on the promotion list. We have to talk about some pennies, some time, the cheap seats sometimes, uh, just because some of them develop into major players. Okay, so Mondial, uh, Mondial Adve uh, Ventures Incorporated. 
MNVN, MNVN, MNVN. Currently trading at 0 0.0033. Now, this one's a little interesting, guys. Uh, it's an oil and gas company that engages in exploration, development, and exploitation of crude oil and natural gas properties, primarily in the United States. The company was founded in 2022, is headquartered in Scottsdale, Arizona. So we're gonna dive in and dig into some information like this with gas prices and oil prices on the rise. And one of the things that I'd like to present to you is that, you know, we are in July now. If they're into natural gas, that's coming around the corner. And I can tell you with the, with the winter heating coming up, prices for natural gas, they're gonna, they're gonna go up. It's just, it's just that's, that's the way it is. I've, I, I've swung uh, U gas and D gas all the time. I've, I'm a student of uh, Ricky Gutierrez, so I used to like to play U gas and D gas all the time before uh, some of the changes that happened there. A lot of you that traded are familiar with that. But uh, it's something to look at in the cheap seats. Uh, 66 oil fields for some of you can ring a bell. I made, I made some coin on that before. Uh, that, that's, that wasn't a bad play a while ago. But we'll dive into this one. We'll see what information we can get. I don't know how much we'll get out of it, but we'll check it out. Looking on some information that we found on CI, uh, CI Sison uh, PR Newswire. Uh, it looks like Mondale uh, Ventures Incorporated historically has been an oil and gas production company, okay? But they're focused on the recovery and development of oil and, ga and natural gas. Recently, they've had several opportunities, presented themselves prompting management to proactively begin uh, bringing the company out of its dormant status in order to exploit these various opportunities. This plug was in May uh, recently there. Additionally, the company had recently filed the 506 Form B Regulation D, which authorized restricted shares at the current market price. Proceeds shall be used to bring the company current, revamp its infrastructure, corporate website, social media presence. Uh, so you can, uh, th there's that tidbit of information to uh, think about. Now, they've been historically engaged in the acquisition of oil and gas properties and assets that could be developed into revenue producing assets uh, by acquiring existing oil fields with proven reserves and the rehabilitation rights of oil fields potentially high, uh, like a, for as far as a higher output there. Uh, however, the, the, however, the right to reserve, uh, look at, then they're looking at business process and opportunities for existing operating assets and revenue streams for the company. Uh, so you can check out that plug that's on uh, PR Newswire uh, uh, CI Cision or whoever else you pronounce it. I butchered it probably, but sue me, you know what I'm saying? So we got that there. Okay guys, going on to Stockwitz, your favorite part of the, cha the channel there. Uh, we have some comments and maybe we can get some more information about this uh, sub here. Uh, MNVN, uh, looks like E. Wartz, uh, S. Wartz says, Whale buys it, EOD, very good sign, filings, apostle, merger news coming very soon. So that's what he says on that. Uh, let's see. You guys might want to check this out because it's an oil and gas under a penny. My slots as well. Uh, too much finesse, I would, that, is, that is not a hot take. That is actually decent uh, that you would be saying that just because uh, if you can get oil and gas this cheap, especially with winter coming up, you just know they're gonna crank up the prices just because of supply and demand issues, things like that. And if you have another Texas incident, like you had uh, last winter, uh, natural gas, it's, it's, it's gonna go up there. Um, NDR, very too cheap, decide to keep the oil and gas business going. Yeah, for, for this price, you can, you can load up. I, I'm not saying jump in now because it's being promoted. I would say wait till you can get it on the cheap seats. But uh, oil and gas, always a very good one. I, I, we, me and Kameo always told the story of a buddy we had during pre-pandemic. He loaded up on the cheap seats in uh, as far as uh, oil and gas uh, pre-pandemic. And then dude sold them like, like before gas prices rose like a year ago. And we have been trolling him hardcore, man. We were just like, bro, you should have kept 
those shares, man, you'd be freaking swimming in the dollar ruskies. Instead, you panic, you panic sold uh, because you were worried that gas prices weren't going to go up, and we told you they were going to go up, and well, you don't got a lot of money flowing from those stocks. So someone else gobbled those up, and they got the dough. That's just the way it goes. Uh, looks like NVRN OOF is heating up. Going to take off soon. Filings dropping soon. I'll be interested to see those filings there, but that's not going to determine me from picking up. If I can get something this cheap, I'll pick up in on the red. It's not one of my ones I, I want to get, but it's, it's a possibility I might jump in there. Um, MVRN is very deep. It's dumped when Alpha Ridge lost a custodianship bid, but nobody realized SSM Corp's still working with the company to get followings to work with RM. Check it out. So that was from Lord, Lord Lordy. Go check out what he's got because he's got the information. That's good information that we need to know. That's why we go to Stockwitz. I, my personal opinion about Stockwitz is I feel like I get more information from everybody because everybody's working together in conglomeration to get all the information because we want to make retail traders uh, smarter traders. We're not all experts, but if we all work together, we can give each other the DD. Uh, the 411, wherever the hell you guys want to call it these days, and uh, we can we can do that there. Uh, Billionaire 27, uh, he just has got this stuff. Uh, we got NVRN. Those who were the first in line with the merger had one billion in volume. Crazy. That's from too much finesse there. Uh, NVRN, how much? Are there 405 watchers on this stock? Wow, shock, should be thousands. I would agree. On, on an oil, natural gas, this, and for exploration, uh, for this cheap, like I said, no brainer. So I'm gonna be peace out of here. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, if anybody of you are new, like and sub. Hopefully I'll get my uh, partners back. Me and Kameo are just having, uh, as far as uh, scheduling difference time, Probably gonna do the shows earlier on Friday now, just because of scheduling, things like that. We'll probably do an early Friday show because me and him like to shut it down because he's gotta go hit the casino uh, and I've gotta go uh, do my uh, business dealings, what I've gotta do for all the deals that I got going on. So appreciate your listenership. Uh, appreciate you joining me at the lake yesterday. You know. That was fun. I, I consider uh, going hanging out at the lake. I was hanging out with you guys doing the show. That was awesome. So uh, don't make it a dog show. Always have a happy trading day. And good night now!